Hey, hi, hello besties, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Daphne, and today is Vlogmas Day 2 for me. Today on my Instagram, I asked um, some anonymous questions, like the NGL app, and so I figured I would answer them today for today's vlog. So if that is something that you're interested in, then come along <laughs> i asked this on my instagram at about 7 a.m this morning i think is when i posted it and then right now it is about 5 30. so i haven't opened any of them yet been letting them sit um unanswered all day so let's see what they are okay so the first one is favorite album way more pg and low-key that i thought it was going to be a favorite album i would have to say currently is midnight um the 3 a.m version by taylor swift but i would have to say of all time would probably have to be say probably blunderbuss by jack white probably favorite album of all time second question is i didn't realize that you had a partner love it how long have you guys been together i need to see more stuff of you two and yes i do have a boyfriend um we actually have been together let's see here we met we met in 2017 so it's been five years now but we dated for like three and then we weren't together for like um and then we weren't together for like a little bit and now we're back together so yeah definitely um i'll definitely introduce him on the channel and everything so yeah third question worst advice you've ever given i'd say worst advice i've ever given um i would probably say that it was always easier to get over someone by getting under someone else um i remember someone told me that in high school like an older student told me that I'd probably say that that was the worst advice that i've probably ever said to someone and that is not healthy at all so i entirely take that back <laughs> fourth question favorite smell probably bombshell by victoria's secret it's just like such a strong scent memory and i just love it so much it's such a good scent so i'd probably say that or like popeye's biscuits because <laughs> they always smell amazing also <laughs> fifth question have you ever been to paris i have not um i've been to paris and epcot if that counts i've been to the paris pavilion or france pavilion but that's the closest that i've ever been been the only places out of the country i've been to is just canada and i don't think that really counts for like americans i don't know like i know technically like yes it is out of the country but i feel like really out of the country is like overseas like not just going to canada or mexico if you're from america if that makes sense not discounting them in any way but i feel like that's normally what every american normally says i guess i don't know <laughs> sixth question best pickup line honestly no pickup line i hate pickup lines oh my gosh that's usually the worst thing like i don't know maybe it's just they're always really cringy in real life but i just say no pickup line is the best pickup line <laughs> question oh it's not a question i only want to say you're just lovely and have a wonderful christmas that's very sweet i hope you have a wonderful christmas too or whatever holiday that you celebrate um next question i want to be your friend in real life you're awesome oh that's so sweet i'm always down to have new friends in real life um next one is oh, asking why someone still hangs out with an old friend group long story time uh, involving my best friend and these ex vloggers well they still vlog i guess you could say these ex disney vloggers and it's a really long story and that question involved it another one is would you ever hook up with a fan and if you don't know, I used to do like some spice account sites and everything. Um, I still kind of keep up with it, but mostly I've been trying to just focus on YouTube and new endeavors and everything. So no, I wouldn't. <laughs> Short answer, especially because I'm in a relationship. When I was in more of the spice account days and more adult entertainment, um, I still didn't really ever hook up with fans. Never did. I'm sorry um next question sorry i lost count next one is have you ever been to australia if not would you like to someday actually i really really do um dubai and australia are and tokyo 
so I mean Japan like but Tokyo specifically because I really want to go to Tokyo Disney <laughs> um but I would say those are like the top three places that I really really want to visit outside like overseas and everything I really want to see Australia I know there's like really big bugs there but ever since the Mary Kate and Ashley movie I've always wanted to visit Australia have either of the grifters ever had the courage to respond to you personally funny how she responds to everyone else but you it's like you're speaking the truth or something it's funny and no she hasn't short answer um that kind of ties into that friend drama i figured i'd probably get at least a few questions about it moving on <laughs> um outdoors or car <laughs> Um, I'm assuming where to probably hook up and I would say um car favorite food favorite favorite food I feel like I go through phases with different foods chicken tenders and ranch I know that's so juvenile but it just is or mozzarella sticks Ugh, they're just so good and just every time and I'd say like consistent throughout life but chicken tenders rule everything gosh I would do you ever consider a fan meetup um Actually, I would. I think it'd be super fun. It makes me kind of nervous, but I do think it'd be really, really fun. Um, right now, obviously, the stage of everything, I think it'd be pretty intimate. So, um, meet up, yes, I think it'd be so fun. Sorry, I said, like, literally 20 times right now. It's, like, super chill. Like, a really large booth is how I imagine it. I don't know. Maybe Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it'd be so... I think it'd be so fun. What's your biggest insecurity? Ooh, that's a good one. Biggest insecurity. I feel like a lot of being on the internet has really... I don't know. Whatever insecurities I might have had. Just getting having people talk about I guess like you online or talking about me online in certain ways I guess just kind of has made me kind of dull to whatever like obviously I still get pretty insecure but I would say it's more just like social anxiety um insecurity wise my biggest insecurity I don't really have one at the moment I know it sounds really weird um I just don't know at the moment I know like I'm pretty content with myself and um, I haven't had that in a really, really long time. Um, normally I am pretty insecure. So right now the fact that I can't place one off the top of my head is I think is a really healthy sign. Right now is the fact that I don't like the nails that I have right now. I guess that's my biggest insecurity right now. Oh no, I'm sorry. Um, sorry, but also not because um, I think that's a good sign that I'm pretty happy with myself right now. So I think all the self-love is the best. And I hope that you're having self-love for yourself. Talk nicely to yourself. Personality, your looks. Personality, always. Personality, a thousand percent. If you're funny, um, that's usually something I love the most. <laughs> it's like someone who's really funny and just a kind person and a genuine, I don't know, just a genuine soul. I think is most important. Oh, getting down to like the last four. Next one. What does your friends think about your only um site, <laughs> your spice site? They're supportive of it. They don't really have, I guess I would say a strong opinion because it's kind of like whatever. It was more just they were concerned about my safety, I think more than anything. And uh, they're just concerned about that. But other than that, they're fine with it. A lot of them believe in my talents more than the adult in industry, which is very kind. And so that's partly why I've taken a step back because I want to explore those. And I've been doing adult entertainment for almost three years now. Um, I started it like right before like everything happened in 2020, like right before that. So I caught the wave. Luckily, that was all during that era of 2020 and everything and that kind of side of the entertainment um adult entertainment in industry but so yeah they're really supportive they're really supportive but they're also very supportive of any other creative endeavors that i do also are you a backseat driver i am not um spill the tea on your first kiss oh my gosh my first kiss was literally in freshman year of high school it was like right between I think it was like fourth and fifth period I want to say and it was like this guy that I was kind of talking to and talking to like both of me back then like just like texting and like instant messenger and myspace and stuff it wasn't really anything serious and he literally kissed me out of nowhere like we were just 
going we were talking and then the bell rang and he literally kissed me and that was my first kiss so <laughs> it wasn't super romantic um it was super random but it's on that note um we are officially done with all of the questions so i appreciate everyone sending them um i'll link my instagram down below if you would like to follow along and next time i do this if you'd like to ask questions also so thank you so much for following um like subscribe um i'm still continuing with the vlogmas and i'm really enjoying it and uploading daily something new for me so i don't know thank you for following along i really appreciate it bye besties